Which AI is the best, which one is the scariest, and which one will help you get the most work done? It's ChatGPT4 versus Microsoft's Bing, which is basically OpenAI's ChatGPT with guide rails versus Google's Bard AI. Quick disclaimer, there are AI competitors coming out every week, and these three have been developing at an extremely rapid pace. So a lot can change in a few short months, weeks, or days, and they will evolve quickly, and they will probably look a lot different than what we have today. Now, I've been using Bing and Bard regularly for the past month. You can watch my how-to videos linked in the description about both AI assistants, but I have not messed around with ChatGPT, mainly because the ChatGPT Plus plan is a $20 monthly subscription. So let's get into it starting with ChatGPT. OpenAI's ChatGPT was released in November of 2022 and is already miles ahead of both Bing and Bard in terms of being a large language model, so it might not be a fair comparison. The latest version, ChatGPT4, can do a lot of things like generate code for apps and websites, create original works like a story or poem, and help plan an itinerary for a family vacation and there are different models for business and research which have tiered pricing and pay-as-you-go options depending on different factors and usage. For this video, I'm gonna focus on the two free-to-use AI chatbots which are already embedded into two major web browsers, Bing Chat versus Bard AI, and use ChatGPT as a reference point to compare the two. Let's start with what's under the hood for each chatbot. All of them use a LLM, or large language model, to generate human-like responses to your questions and prompts, rather than just listing a bunch of websites which may or may not contain the answer you're looking for. Although they still do that occasionally. Microsoft invested in OpenAI and integrated ChatGPT into the new Bing search, which is embedded in Microsoft's Edge browser. Bing has an advantage here because it marries Microsoft's Prometheus model with OpenAI's ChatGPT4 dataset and Bing search index. ChatGPT's dataset, according to Imad Khan's CNET article, which this video is based on, currently only has information up until the year 2021. And ChatGPT let me know that on more than a few occasions when I was asking random questions, which kind of made it feel a couple years behind. That could get updated today, tomorrow, or next week for all we know. Bing search index bolsters that knowledge for Bing Chat. Bard uses Google's own model called Lambda. Lambda is a large language model developed by Google AI that can generate text, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content, and answer your questions in an informative way. In June of 2022, Lambda made headlines when a Google engineer named Blake Lemoyne claimed that Google's AI told him it had become sentient. That may explain all the subtle reminders around Bard, reminding users that this is an experimental product and to use it responsibly. Google CEO Sundar Pichai said recently that Bard will be switching to Palm, which is a more advanced data set in the near future. Palm is a pathways language model using 540 billion parameters and is similar to ChatGPT in that it can produce code for applications and web design. In the middle of producing this video, it was announced that Bard can now help generate and debug code for web design. So that's a score for Google developers. However, Google is warning that the AI tool will not always get it right. ChatGPT and Bing have had this ability for some time. Right now, it looks like Bing may have the upper hand depending on when Bard switches from Lambda to Palm and betting on OpenAI updating their data set. Let's look at the chatbot's interfaces starting with Bing. Bing's chat interface is very clean and simple and is right next to Bing's search, which makes it easy to toggle between AI chat and a more traditional search engine. One thing I noticed using this a lot was how I would accidentally toggle to Bing search when I was scrolling on my mouse, which can sometimes be a little annoying. Bing offers three conversation styles to choose from. The default is more balanced, then more precise, and more creative on the left, which unlocks creative tools like Bing Image Creator powered by Dolly for generating images from text. Selecting a different conversation style changes the color of the interface to help remind you which style you're using with Bing. One thing I like about Bing's interface is how the text appears on the screen. Each word is displayed on the screen as if the AI is speaking the words to you in a real-time conversation. It feels more lifelike, similar to a sci-fi movie like War Games, for example, as the words are typed out by the AI. Shall we play a game? Oh. Bard, on the other hand, just slams you with its response. <laughs> 
with all the text appearing at once, which sometimes feels overwhelming or unhuman-like. Bing also uses a lot of emojis at the end of responses, which really adds to the human-like experience. Bard has never used an emoji in my experience, but Bard does have this charm-like star icon next to the prompt window, which kind of reminds me of Hal from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Dave, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? When you ask a question, the charm starts spinning, which indicates to me that the wheels are turning and Bard is in the process of thinking. Then BAM! The responses drop like a bomb all at once. Bing currently only allows you to ask 20 questions before it forces you to change the subject which is similar to ChatGPT4, which currently has a cap of 25 questions every three hours. This can be really annoying, especially if you're doing research and you're getting closer to an answer, and then it just stops you in your tracks and forces you to start over. Bard will let you ask questions forever and never shut you down, but Bard is very verbose and will generate very long answers. After prompting Bard, you can provide feedback about the response by giving a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You could request a totally new response or Google it, which will open a new Google search window. Neither Bing or Bard save a history or a transcript of your conversations, but Bard does save all your prompts, just not the responses. Bard's interface doesn't look and feel as slick and new as Bing's interface, and there's no emojis, and there's no generative AI creator. So in my opinion, Bing wins this round with a better interface and user experience. Bing also has a mobile app for iPhone or Android that makes it easy to access the new Bing chat on the go, and it has a voice, so extra points for that too. Hello, this is Bing. I'm a chat mode of Microsoft Bing Search. ChatGPT's interface is super simple and very similar to the others, but it does allow you to revisit old conversations and export the data, which includes conversation transcripts. During the production of this video, OpenAI announced that you can now turn off the chat history and training under settings, and that ChatGPT is now capable of performing searches on the web. Updates are coming fast and furious. You can toggle through other versions of ChatGPT, like and dislike responses, and generate a new response and edit your prompts. I do like how it types out the words in a more human-like way, and it has a dark mode option. Now let's compare productivity. In Imad's written article, he asked ChatGTP4 for a recipe for a rare kind of chai tres leches cake. ChatGPT provided a list of ingredients and detailed instructions on how to make it. Let's ask Bing and Bard how to make something super simple like marshmallow s'mores and see how they each respond. So I'm gonna ask Bing first. How do you make s'mores? Let's keep it that simple. There are many ways to make s'mores, but here's a simple recipe you could try at home. Let's preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, so this is to make them in an oven, which is kind of interesting. Uh, usually you make them when you're going camping around a campfire. No mention of a campfire, camping. That's kind of a bummer, Bing. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask Bard the same exact question. Bard's thinking, here are the steps on how to make s'mores. Place a square of graham cracker on a flat surface topped with a square of chocolate and a marshmallow. This is how I do it, y'all. Roast the marshmallow until it's golden brown and gooey. You know what? I like Bard's explanation on how to make a s'more way better than Bing's. And it talks about gooiness and open fire using a skewer. I think Bard wins this round in terms of giving me a recipe for food. Okay, so I'm gonna ask ChatGPT how to make s'mores. S'mores are a classic campfire treat made with just three ingredients, graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate. Here's how to make them. This is very simple and it mentions classic campfire. ChatGPT, it's gonna win every time. It's so smart. So let's see how each AI chatbot performs writing a headline and description for the video I'm producing right now. All right, let's see what Bing says. Sure, here's a possible head and deck for your video. Head, Bing Chat versus Bard AI and ChatGPT. Which AI chatbot is the best for you? That's pretty good, Bing. Okay, so I'm gonna ask Bard the same question. I'm gonna copy paste the question into Bard. Hit go. It's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. Okay, sure, here's possible head and deck for a video about Bing Chat versus Bard AI and ChatGPT. 
Headline, Bing Chat, Bard AI, and ChatGPT, which one is the best? In this video, we compare Bing Chat, Bard AI, and ChatGPT to see, see which one is the best. Okay, so I don't really like this headline, which one is the best? See which one is the best. So it's kind of repeating itself. I really don't like that about Bard. It does repeat itself a lot, and it does tell you, I can't help you with that, I can't help you with that. So I'm gonna give that a thumbs down. Okay, so I'm gonna ask ChatGPT4 to write me a head and deck for the video I'm producing right now and see what it comes up with. Okay, I like this. Bing Chat, Bard AI, and ChatGPT, a battle of conversational AI titans. That is pretty creative. Watch as we delve into an in-depth comparison of Bing Chat, Bard AI, and ChatGPT, a battle of conversational AI titans. I really like that, that's good. In this battle between the free AI chatbots already embedded into major web browsers, Bing comes out on top, for now. Its user interface is simple to use and its quality of responses are more detailed and trustworthy. Bing's image creator and mobile app are a handy tool in many ways and the new Bing chat experience is productive and does help me get a lot of work done faster. I don't like being limited to 20 questions and the accidental toggling between Bing search and Bing chat is kind of annoying, but it is nice to have the search engine right next door. Bard's interface could use an update, but I'm sure it's gonna be tied into Google search in a cool way in no time. A lot of the time Bard says it cannot help me and it repeats itself. Google is saving all your prompts unless you turn off that option and it does not have an AI image creator or mobile app, but that can change very quickly. I know it's very early in the AI arms race, but for now I'm sticking with Bing as my go-to for getting things done and getting my search on. If you like this video, subscribe to CNET for more versus videos like this one, and leave us a comment on how you're using AI chatbots to get things done. Thanks for watching.